What's going on, everybody out there? Listen, listen, listen here, man. Tonight we got like a brother that we we haven't even connected in person yet. But this is like my brother, man, because you know, we like-minded individuals, man. Um, he's doing his thing from out there in Detroit, Michigan. Um, listen, we're talking about the founder of Family Matter Sports. We talking family, man. Like this isn't just this isn't just a business that he do, like family. This is really a lifestyle uh, for my guy. Y'all give a wonderful welcome to Eric Mack, yo. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the viewers too as well. It's definitely an awesome channel to be a part of. Oh, man, I appreciate you, brother. Hey, look, man, before we get into it, man, like really just right off top, right, Eric? Mm -hmm. With all the stuff you got going on, all the time. I'm seeing you, you even messing with the cooking. You out there in the <laughs> basketball league. <laughs> My man be cooking, he doing it all, man. So you make time for your team, man. When I'm talking about the family team, which is the most important. Um, yes. I gotta ask this, man, because you know, it's so red. They don't make guys like us like that. So Absolutely. where do you find time? you know, to, to, to like take a step back and just like relax, refreshing your brain so you can continue to lead your family, to lead as a, as a community leader, to lead in the Absolutely. business world. How do you Absolutely. find time to do that? Um, I say, um, i be honest with you, just, just being able to, I don't take life for granted. You know, I take, when I wake up, you know, at 7.30, I feel like it's a blessing. You know, I feel like um, even all the things that I got on my plate, um, even now, you know, I'm, I'm getting a text from one of my directors. Um, I, I still keep, keep it, try to keep it whole and try to be humble. You know what I mean? Every, everybody don't have this opportunity. You know what I mean? Me coming from the east side of Detroit, I lost friends that wish they would just be, just, just would live it, you know, not just doing half the stuff for the community, but I lost a lot of people that, you know, I, I just want to do the work for them. So I wake up with a smile and I go to, I go to sleep, you know, with a smile. And um, I think that's what get me going. I think that's what people see. And that's what grab, grab people towards me, to be honest with you. Man, man, that's so wonderful. So it's like, <clears throat> so what's one of the, what's one of the things like they just, that were you able to kind of just put your guard down? Cause of course we got to play a certain role when Absolutely. it comes to our families, right? Yeah. So what's one of them things? I know for me, you know, one of them relaxing things, I like I like to sit back, watch basketball, boxing, uh, you know, get away yeah. and, and, and chill out and, you know, do that. What's one of your things where you can put your guard down and just kind of relax for a minute? Um, one of my things is, uh, to be honest with you, you said the cooking thing. I think that's therapy for me. Um, like you said, bas sports is always number one, you know, no matter what's on we're going to gravitate to it. We, you know, we seen COVID, we still, you know, watching some. Yeah. So it's like, you know, that, you know, of course, sports and catching those good games, you know, but for me, you know, coming home, you know, um, my wife taking care of the kids and letting me, you know, go in the kitchen and cook and put some together, make some cookies or, <laughs> you know, go to YouTube. Yeah. And I think that's a, just a thing for me to just unwind, you know? Um, and I think that's, that's just a, a fresh to brush air, just having a significant other understand that, hey, you know, you come home for work and you think that your wife want to be all around you. She's like, no, go and cook, go and, you know, go, and, go, go enjoy, go and cook for us. So that's one yeah. of the things. And, and that's just a hobby. You know, I'm just trying to find a hobby. We just, uh, just as men, we think, like you said, just coming and sitting on a couch, throwing our boots off. No, it's okay to pick up a hobby, you know, maybe not cooking, but maybe it's something else. You know what I mean? So like what you do or all the things you're doing on your end. So uh, yeah. that's, that's just what I do a little bit. You know what I do. To just free my mind. <laughs> that's man, that's interesting, but it's amazing for sure, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I like I like to see you do your thing, man, whipping it up on a cam and all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> man, now check this out. Check this out, Eric. You know, most of my audience is single mm -hmm. parents. You know, yeah. a lot of a lot of single parents, we know that we're pushing like 20-something million. It hurt to say the number, you know, yeah. in America alone, right? Now, what do you what do you see as like? Because you're the 
for a, for the single mothers that that want a that want a, a husband, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I can imagine, and it's not no bragging anything, but they want a responsible man. They want you know a, a man that's accountable, like yourself, like myself. Yeah. You know, what do you think is like one of the struggles with men, like not being present? Like, what do you think is the issue with the accountability and men? Yeah, I mean, uh, bringing our past with us, um, bringing our past with us, I say exactly what we don't see, what we don't lay out, you know, what we don't react to. So a lot of things we see, basically single mom and single dad, and we we relax, we relax there. You know, I had to talk with my wife that we both came from single household, and we trying to just go past that because um, a, a lot of our generation, we just stuck here. You know, we don't want to, we seen mama do it here. We seen dad do it here. We seen everybody in the neighborhood do it here. We don't want to go up and above. We so stuck of just being here. So just putting in that extra effort. If you want to, you know, um, find that good guy, it's not going to happen overnight. As we all know, you know, um, dating life is very crazy in this generation, but just, you know, doing the right things, being in the right places, you know, um, volunteering going to church you know it's, it's somebody out there for you you just have to go and do the right thing you can't find them in your house can't find them on instagram can't find them on facebook no more right <laughs> you can do that hold, hold up there <laughs> hold, hold up hold up there you just said something you just said something you saying <laughs> you can't find them on instagram you can't find them on facebook so hold <laughs> up are you are you telling me that you don't believe in finding that real match on social media I don't see I don't see that's working in this generation just because you when you lay back and see somebody on social media you first you really don't know them you don't know their past you definitely don't know their family and where they come from you don't know exactly what burden they're bringing on to them that's on Facebook following them you know so if you follow follow fall in love online when you meet that person it's going to be more even on it, even in, when you meet a person face to face from day one it's still going to be different things that come out the closet so when you really see somebody online and you dig in and see exactly it's going to be very, very hard. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but we see it exactly, especially when it comes to a man front, we see a woman, we're a date or go on a date, we go on the next day, we see something we don't like about her, what she posts, we don't talk to her again, right? So that's one of the big ones, exactly, that stigma of just on social media. And there's so many options, especially for women, as we know, you know, how many guys say, hey, you're beautiful, and let me take you out on a date. And that's, I have four sisters, and I, and I understand, you know, the, the, the tough in the dating world, but that's what's really going on, you know, especially when it comes to on social media. It's very, very hard. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna tell you, I I'm I agree with you, man, that um I think the percentage, if it does work, it's a very, very low percentage. So absolutely I wouldn't advise anyone to take that <laughs> route at all. <laughs> yeah. I that's wouldn't true. advise it at yeah. all, bro. Now, now tell me this, like um, a few years back, man, I wrote a book, man, that I feel like it's going to be one of them books that's, um, I won't even see the day when the book is like embrace, you know, like right. I heard, I heard not too long ago, um, Think and Grow Rich. Um, I can't remember. I want to say it was wrote maybe like 50, 60 so years ago. Right. Okay. And that book really didn't take off until maybe 20 years later, right? Mm-hmm. And I wrote this book called Family or Nothing. Mm-hmm. And in the book, you know, outside of sharing like the brokenness that I came from, right? Absolutely, right. I also like speak about um, the, the, the infrastructure that I implemented so my family can withstand any storm, yeah. you know? And um, I shared that, you know, with, with people because family, like yourself, the family, it's every, family or nothing is, is really what I'm about, you know? Yeah. Because um, I just feel anybody can get rich, but you can't be wealthy, you know, just for those that love to talk about money all the time. You yeah. can't be wealthy if you're not passing it to nobody. Absolutely. What is wealth? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's got to be family. Like family is the freedom, you know? So for your, for yourself, right. What is um, some things that like some do's and some don'ts 
when it comes yeah. to your family structure because it looked very strong, brother, from the outside <laughs> looking in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, be honest with you, it's it's you know, I'm 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 not perfect. You know, my wife not perfect, my family not perfect. For it's for us, it's just it's 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 the mistakes. You know, the mistakes. You know, that's what's. I would read um, Michelle Obama. Hey, listen, I know you're enjoying this episode right now. Me too. But listen, I got to share my new 12-month single parent coaching program with you. Now, look, you might be a single parent. You are really suffering with your self-esteem, right? You're trying to get your confidence together. Or you might be that single parent. Right now, the schedule is beating you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's school. It's work. It's homework. It's cooking. It's everything. It's just chaotic. You might be that single parent, right? Or... You might got the finances and everything in order, but now you the single parent that's trying to figure out the six steps to go from being a single parent to a married parent. Listen, if you any one of those single parents or another type of single parent, I need you to do this. Shoot me an email to bookdoaks at gmail.com. Share your brief story and let's take it from there. I actually, I was looking at the podcast. She was just saying, like, out of 30 years, she'd been married. 10 years, she couldn't stand Obama. 20 years, she, she <laughs> you know, she can stick to 20 years, right? So yeah. one thing she's saying that, like, it's okay to fall sometimes. Appreciate that person fall, got up, and changed, right? So not just with mom, dad. That's with sister. That's with your wife, you know? Um, so give people opportunity to change and this, you know, and, and reciprocate them their change, you know? Understand, hey, I do see a change with you today. I see you woke up maybe at 7 a.m. instead of noon, you know? So just exactly being upfront and honest with them. Um, not really, I don't like when people say hard love, be so hard, tough around them, tough love. I just say just that, be be generous around them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Understand everybody go through what they're going through, especially mm-hmm. your family. They're going to put it on you the most, your significant other, you know, that job, they're going to put it on you. Just un- be understanding. And uh, a lot of times we think we just get frustrated because we want things to be just our way. I want it, I'm so used to this. You know, my mom, my family, my culture seen this, you know, let's step outside. Let's be exactly the change that we trying to see. Cause we, if we keep bringing things that we seen, we're not going to move anywhere, you know? So I just saying, just be patient and understand that people are going to fall. Things not going to be perfect. It's not going to be like how mom and dad house was growing up, but you can, you can mold it that way, you know, to, in your own form. So that's just the only, that's what I see in my family and my household. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. Man, E Mac, man, we got this portion right here, man, doing yeah. the show where we get into this game, man. You know, yeah. I love everybody seen a lot of game, man. The game <laughs> is called Rapid Oaks, brother. What you feel about mm-hmm. getting into that? Get into it, man. I love it. Let's go. Let's go. So look, man, this is how the game go, right? I'm gonna give you a word, right? You tell me what comes to mind when you hear that word. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. First word. Pistons. Pistons. Uh, remind me of uh, Detroit Pistons 2004. Chauncey Billis, Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace, Tayshawn <laughs> Prince, Block from Reggie Miller. Man, I can keep going, man. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit Pistons all the way, seven mile born. Man, that was a good place in Detroit, man. I, I mean, I was one. That, that's one of the highlights of Detroit, but uh, Detroit Pistons. <laughs> man, y'all, y'all had a run with that squad, man. Y'all had a run until, Rip. <laughs> until King James came to town. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, Keith James making <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He's still coming to town on a lot of people, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. 20 years later, man. Yeah. Man. Um, tell me this. Marriage. Marriage. Uh patience. Um, when 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 that marriage comes around, anytime I um the crazy thing, when you go in a barbershop, you you know, first when you still get married or you fall in love, they tell you, hey, be patient, be patient. And you like be patient for what? You know, I'm the man. She married me. But right, being right. patient is just being patient. You know, and letting your wife, you know, understand that makeup and nails gonna take two hours. But being patient and understand they're doing it for you, it's right, big. Right. You know, you they're not doing it for anybody else, and they're doing it for you. The person they married, they, they still want to, you know, think that they're 17 or when, when they're met you. You know, want to be young. So just being patient. That's one thing I learned with my wife. You know, being patient and and being understanding. And it's hey, yep, yeah, okay, I understand. It's really, really taking myself far and, and really taking my, my family far, you know. And that's just a change I had to make recently, to be honest with you, in the last couple of years. 
Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a um it's a selfless, you know, assignment, man. Yeah. And it's a selfless and 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 I and not to get all track, but that's what I think a lot of guys struggle with, man. Mm-hmm. You know, when it comes mm-hmm. to you know taking that leadership seat. Absolutely, you, man, because you gotta think past you. Absolutely, you know? right. <laughs> man. You got and, and and that's not an easy thing, bro. It's not an no. easy thing. And you learn something new about it every day. <laughs> yeah, especially the generation you're coming in and maybe being a step parent. You know what I mean? You have to mm-hmm. really, really, at that point, you really have to put yourself behind because not just that, you're bringing in the love of your life also with the, the love of her life, you know, of her child. Yeah. So it's a lot, you know, so, yeah. For sure. For sure. What about parenting? Parenting. Um, pa- gentle. Be gentle. I mean, one thing I had to learn too recently me having that daughter, you know, I had a son's first and, you know, football, basketball, I was in that rah-rah on the side and then I'm in ballet and I'm in, you know, uh, you know, things of that nature. And then I have to just be patient. The more patient I am um, with her, um, it's just wonderful. She like opened up like a butterfly to me and I should tell me more. Um, that be, that trying to be stern around your kids, it works for some kids, don't get me wrong. You know, every kid is different, but just being patient and, 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 and being gentle and and understanding that uh, hey it's it's so they're gonna get on your nerves sometimes but just being just being gentle and being patient that's one thing when a parent to come up that's what just taking the slow motion because they grow so fast and a lot of mistakes we making you know we we kind of regret you know so for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah now tell me this this last one right here yeah is it either or you know, this 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 the this gonna be the question of the week, man. Every week, man. This is the question right here. Okay. You can only pick one. Okay. Love or trust? Which one you got, E Rob, E Matt? <clears throat> Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I say trust. Um mm-hmm. elaborate I, on that. I like love, but as it trust. I can explain it better as being like an infant, right? Um, you can love that rattle, but you trust your parent. So the rattle as well, you love it. Oh, I love it, but you trust that parent. That parent want to pick you up from that rattle, you're going to go to your parent. So when you trust in someone, love, love come behind that. You know what I mean? It's like your, ki- your kids, when they trust you, you know, when you pull up to that basketball game, they playing basketball, but when they see you, they trust you're going to be there. That's the love that's showed up in the room for them. You know, so I feel like, Love is so much important, but I feel like that trust brings love with it. Just like trusting in God, love come all behind it, you know? <laughs> so uh, that's that's just the big one for me, you know, that trust. It's not, it sounds <laughs> like you stuck between two. <laughs> and, and you know you picked that question to get us stuck. <laughs> my man, my that's man, no Aaron Knight, he is officially the first person that's stuck, literally. <laughs> man. <laughs> Let me tweet both. You are, you're right. Hey, man. Hey, I appreciate you, brother. That was a great wow. game, man. You a great gamer, man. I already knew you was going to bring it, brother. Oh, man. That was funny. <laughs> oh, man, go ahead. We move, we move with five steps with trust. Hold up, man. We coming back to the love. I see you. Right, right. right. <laughs> so check it out, y'all. It is time for your single parent of the week yes 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 so look what makes this one so special was because this man had no obligations to these children at all but decided to step in and what they call a superhero day yes so look man backstory is you know this single father was a single father in his past life, so to speak. You know, so he's already raised daughters that are grown as a single father. You know, and what happened, uh, he got with this young lady. You know, he uh, he had a deep feeling for her. Um, they had plans, so they, they actually moved together. They was together for about a year. This young mother of two could not kick her alcohol addiction. Like, it was just terrible, man. You know, and so bad that one day, this single mother um, was in the alcohol uh, alcohol rage, just 
completely destroyed her home. Her children was in fear, you know, all type of things, man. So long story short, you know, she flips out this particular day. The, uh, the law will come and actually take her to jail and remove her children from the house. Now, thank God that, you know, there was no foster parent, uh, foster parent families available at that time or else these kids would have been taken in immediately. Right. So they was kind of like in a holding situation. And um, while the boyfriend who was away at the time at work, you know, because he lived with them. But at that time, he was away at work when this all happened. He got that call. And um, according to the children who are now grown at that time was like eight and 11 years old. Um, according to them, right away, he took action. He got into the, the, uh, the, the adoption process. You know, trying to figure out how he could get them. And he fought and he did everything he needed to do, whether that was paperwork, you know, uh, putting the money up. Everything he had to do to get them out that system and to, and to give them his last name officially. So he did that and he did it with integrity. Uh, the children loved him so much. They say he never missed a moment they never missed a meal he always kept his word you know and um he raised them to both be productive citizens and he he raised them as if they were his own which is the most amazing part to me because let's be real man most men i'm not even gonna say men most people are not going to raise someone else's children as if they're their own. I mean, that's just, that's just the truth, y'all. Most people are not about to do that. You know, they might, they might, you know, raise you as if they're your uncle, as if they're your aunt, but not as if they came from you. That's just the truth, man. So with that being said, yo, Stephen Benawia, you are the single parent of the week. Hey, uh, Eric, tell yeah. me this, brother. Tell me this. Yeah. Family matters sports. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for those that's not familiar, you know, bring us in a little bit of what you're doing out there in, um, in Detroit. Uh, man, I'm in the Metro Detroit area from everywhere, to be honest with you, just trying to get the community together, just trying to shine bright to the, not just to, to the kids that look like me, to the kids that going through all the situations. It's bigger than just sports. Um, we got a, one thing. What is what is winning? Right. What is winning? You know, what is what is what is winning? So one thing about us as well is making the kids have a good time of just being around. You know, understand as well. Um, competitive side gonna come along, right? So we working with the youth and me being a, like um, a youth director and then trying to help the community in all doing all sports, just trying to get the kids like you, like you said, have have someone to trust. You know, have someone to, you know, the center that we run, have someone to come and lay your hair down and or to come and you know to feel so comfortable around. That's our goal. Um, that's the reason why I do this. Um, I, I wanted an outlet when I was a kid. I never got that. So. My thing is to be an outlet to these to these kids, not just the kids to the parents. You know, I get so many parents that say, man, you you're doing so much for my kid. You know, they're asking about you, not just asking about your real fluence. They want you to be in a room on, on another event or another sport that they're doing. So it really is family matter sports is really just trying to change the culture of family, change the culture of like, hey, you know, it, it don't have to be three hundred dollars for sports. We can make it as cheap as affordable as possible. So it's just exactly trying to change the community around day by day. Um, not just me, just trying to bring a whole, you know, all my supporters with me because I, I, I can't do it by myself. Right. So we're just like, you know, having these great people around me and uh, we're doing these great things here, you know, in America. Welcome to singleparentswin.com. This online shopping experience was put together specifically for you, the single parent. That's right. See, listen, we have children's merch, adult merch, victory hats and winter caps 
ebooks, and so much more. See, this is where fashion meets purpose. It's your area. Wow, wow. And for yeah. and and that's amazing, bro. Um, like I say, I'm I'm a big fan of what you're doing, man. Yeah. I can't wait to get out there and see it in person, <laughs> man, and be a part. And um, man, yeah. don't stop, bro. Don't stop. I, thank you, um, man. Same versa. Indeed, indeed. Now tell me this for any families that's out there, right? Mm. That wanna that wanna join, they wanna see how they could get involved. Um, could you share that information? Absolutely. I mean, um, just breakingbarrier.org is our, our website. Uh, Breaking Barrier is what it is, just to bring affordable programming to the communities, you know, near you, to be honest. Um, because we're out of just one city. We're doing, you know, many, many cities, but um Follow me directly, Eric Mack, on Facebook, um, Eric Mack Jr. on Facebook, um, FMSA EMAC on Instagram. Um, that's just exactly all, all, everything is posted. Um, the website is on, in the, the link is in the bios. Um, it's affordable. One thing about just having these programs and having sports, it's, it, it can be very, very, especially if you have more than one child, it can be very expensive. So one thing as well, we bring these sponsors to help. We even pulling money out of our own pocket to, to make it affordable so we can just Show these kids something different. Don't have to be, you know, so so expensive for them to, to, to join a sport till they get to high school or they get to middle school. Let's start now. Let's start at three years old to to to, to six to seven to eight to nine. Let them show show them something that we haven't seen, you know, in our generation because things are so, so just expensive. To be honest with you, man, that's awesome, man. One more yeah. time, if anybody missed how they can um how they can join you get more information one more time that website absolutely best way you can definitely do, uh, reach me eric mack jr on facebook breakingbarriers.org as well it's a it's link in the bios all on the pages fmsa emac on ig please 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 follow even just some encouraging words seeing something different follow me and i'll follow back don't forget if y'all also want to see eric mack you know <laughs> mix up some food man y'all fellas out there you know y'all trying to get right with these you know, with, with these wonderful women, man. Y'all want to learn how to do it in the kitchen, y'all. <laughs> y'all gonna get, Easy. Easy. <laughs> wanna get a little sample how to do this thing, man. From there, <laughs> all in one. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Eric, man. Yeah. Um, closing this thing out, man. Mm -hmm. You bump into a young fella, right? Bump into yeah. a young fella, maybe twenty ish or so. You know, <clears throat> he's letting you know, man. He got a young lady. Uh, he got her, but he don't want her type of thing. You know, she's pregnant mm -hmm. with his child. Mm -hmm. you know, he don't really want to be involved. Too much with mm -hmm. her, not too much with the baby, right? He not yeah. really just head somewhere else. What are you saying to that to that young dude? Um, I, I, I would say uh, take a couple step, take a steps back. You know, close your eyes for a moment as well, um, because. Think of yourself not being there in your son's life. Think of yourself not having parents at a parent type of conference. Think of yourself not having that that wife that at the doctor appointment when they sent two different last names. It's bigger than what we think. You know, we think we put our emotions in so much and say, okay, I'm not happy, but we're not saying exactly what happy we're gonna get our kids in the next 20 years or in the next 18 years. Well, of course, everybody, you know, every things happen, of course, but yeah. I, for that young man, I tell him, stick it out. You know, for him and that beautiful young lady. You know, she carrying your child. Um, that's the biggest, biggest blessing ever. Um, get Go to therapy, get close to the Bible, um, you know, any way you can, um, but try to stick it out, fight it out. Um, and I'll try to bring them back. Like I said, so many things that great leaders, great people in leadership are giving like, hey, um, it's not gonna be, you know, a great, great time every day in relationships. And that's what make it, you know, make two people perfect for each other. You know, then you're gonna keep shopping around for what? You know, as we just stated, it's really hard out here. I said, look at look at all your friends, they're single, <laughs> you know, with no child. So, you know, try to take be patient with that with that woman, you know. And um, I think, you know, I, I would try to like I mean, I always love helping, so I will always try to like reach out or try to just, you know, maybe have a table talk or even, you know, try to give them some more advice down the line, you know. So that's what any young man I run into that have any trouble about relationships. Um, that's why I tell them, you know, what I mean, take take a Close your eyes for a moment, man. See, see the bigger picture, because <laughs> sure. it's a bigger picture out there, you know. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderfully said, man. Uh, Eric, man, I appreciate you, brother, for your time. Appreciate man. you. Appreciate you. Uh, we're running out of time, unfortunately, <laughs> man. But uh, going to cook, man. 
Indeed, indeed. But I want y'all to understand this, man. When single parents win, we all win, man. Eric, yes, thanks again, brother. We definitely going to be Thank in you, touch, man. man. Yeah, get out there to Detroit, bro. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I got to come out to Maryland, man. <laughs> you got to make it happen, man. Absolutely, man. There it is, man. Y'all have a good one, man. Thanks for watching. Great, great conversation, man. It's always a joy and pleasure speaking to my boy, Eric Mack Jr. So shout out to him. Shout out to the Family Matters uh, sports team. Shout out to Detroit, Breaking Barriers, his entire movement. Man, look, I want to get into my three takeaways, but right now I need you. Like you just watching this right now, I need you to share your three takeaways first. Get in the comments right now and let me know something. Now... I guess I share mine. And number one, right away, like, if you know you're the right one, you at the point where you know you're the right one. I ain't say think. You know you're the right one. And now you're ready for the right one. That might require for you to get offline. Yeah, like, you thinking the right one come as easy as hitting a button because everything else came like that you know artificial intelligence is great but when it comes to structuring your family i don't think artificial intelligence was created for that so you might need to get offline you know not stay online to actually connect with that right person. That's my belief. Tell me what y'all think. Let's go for this walk, though. Now, <clears throat> Eric said something that was real. Like, we struggle a lot. I'm talking about men. Whenever we do find that right one and we going through some things, we be ready to get up out of there, y'all. Let's be real. We be, we be trying to, we be trying to skip town. We be trying to go, you know, and there's some ladies that feel that way too. They be ready to run. And, you know, Eric said something. He said his advice would be to take some steps back. Why? So you could think, so you can see, th see things long term, you know, and basically these steps back. It's going to allow you to orchestrate and set up the trillions of steps that's about to take place going forward. So when we're going through adversity, man, we seen a little trouble with the one that we love so dearly, the one that was made for us. You know, all that beautiful stuff we tell ourselves at the beginning when we meet the person, when the adversity hit, you may need to take some steps back to take a trillion steps forward. Moving on, number three, last but not least, here's the reason why it's worth going through the trials and tribulations, going through the struggles with this person that you love so much. They was all made for you. Yeah, all that beautiful stuff you said when you first met them, when y'all first made love, all of that. Here's the reason why. If you don't got your family, you don't have nothing. I'm Dio's. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all same time, same place next Sunday night.